Hi, everybody. It's Helen Ronenberg, and I'm going to go through the new graph search that you can do in Facebook. Actually, it's been around for a long time, but a lot of people don't know about it. So I'm just going to go through it real quick. So the great thing about the graph search is you can really hone in on who you are looking for. So there's a couple of things that you need to do first. The first thing is you need to know who you are looking for and then identify the pages that your target market will potentially look at. So, for instance, if we are looking for someone who is into weight loss, they could be looking for, they could be liking pages um, like, I'm just thinking, um, Bridges, uh, Michelle Bridges, um, Biggest Loser, that kind of thing. If you're looking for skincare, you can look at um, anti-aging. It's really, really easy to actually find these prospects. And it's not necessarily people to join your team, but for customers as well. Because if you're looking for customers who are into anti-aging, then you'd be looking for skincare. If you're looking for um, entrepreneurs or people to join your team, you might be looking for people that like someone like Eric Worre, who is a um, great network marketing um, trainer. So all you do is you come up to Facebook, and I'm trusting that you can see my screen, um, and you would go, you would search for um, people who like Eric Worre. And then what's going to come up, that's if you're looking for that, you would see all my friends who like um, Eric Worre. And then after that, you would see people that you don't know. So you see over here, these friends, those are people that are my friends, and you can just keep loading more and loading more and loading more. So, um, or you could go to have a look at people who like... Um, with another skincare, say, for instance. So that's going to give you a whole lot of people who are going to like skincare. So now it comes up a little bit differently, right? It comes up top posts, people, photos, videos, shop pages, places, groups, apps, and events. You want to look for people. And that's going to bring up all these people. And these are going to be people that you not, don't necessarily know. So, for instance, um, Brian K. Wright, like Skincare Global, leave normal behind um, and you can go through and have a look at who you can see that is who is your target market so I had a question earlier about who to uh, you know how do you actually decide who you want as a target market and that really depends right so for the most part you are looking for people who have got um who've got a profile picture like here we go red red roses there's no profile picture so that's really not going to interest me and I would just go straight past them um, someone who potentially maybe someone like this who's an online marketer but you know he hasn't got a shirt on doesn't look very professional probably not someone that I would like want to follow so you've really got to know and you can really really see quite easily from someone's profile picture what they are like and that's why it's really really important to make sure that there's a clear friendly picture of your profile otherwise people are just going to go right past you um, and then what you can do is you can um, hover over here sorry I think it's hover sorry hover over there and you can actually go to that person's um, profile and I do suggest that you first prof go to that person's profile and just check a little bit about what they are if they're posting things that are not you know that don't align with who you are and who you want to attract um, then pass them by um, and then what I would do is oh I don't know how I got there um, but real quick so the next step then is to connect with them, add them as a friend if they're not a friend and you're looking to get more followers and then send them a message. But there's a little bit of a twist to this. A lot of people would just cut and paste and, hi, how are you? Or, hi, Brian, so if you're connecting with Brian, hi, Brian, how are you? Um, if you did that little bit extra bit of work and actually said, hi, Brian, I noticed that you are, and say something that is in common with him and ask him a question, you're going to have a much better chance of them replying to you 
and then and then actually going to look at your profile and seeing what you're about than if you just did a cut and paste message. But um, some leaders out there say cut and paste is fine and that's okay. Um, but I think sometimes it's too easy to be a la- what I call a lazy marketer. So um, as soon as you ask a question, that person will um, more likely come back with um, a, you know a response or they'll be more likely to see if they're a match or if they would like to get to know you better. So just in closing, this is another really, really important thing about posting too much about your product or your service. If I get a friend request from someone and all I see is posts about their product, it's going to give me the impression that all they want to do and the only reason why they have connected with me is because they want to sell me product. So if that's you, just know that that is the image that you are sending out there, that you are all about product and you are not out there to help and add value to the community. So your um, your hit rate, I almost say, um, uh, it's probably not the right choice of words, but um, the chances of you having people reciprocate and actually stop connecting with you because before you even ask somebody um, the question, you've got to first establish a relationship with them. And key to that is to have a professional looking um, profile where you are adding value and not just spamming your wall with your products and services. All right, well, I hope that makes sense. Um, This is really the start of our journey on um, Go For No. I'm sure there are other people in our community right now that have also got loads of tips that they can give. Please feel free to share with you. This is a community that I'm creating for everyone who wants to really um, grow and build their business doing it ethically, in my opinion, on Facebook without spamming. So um, I hope this was helpful and um, feel free to reach out if you've got any questions. Bye for now.